Welcome again to the Medical Terminology Podcast. This episode is Chapter 11, Part 8, Ear Procedures. I've got nine ear procedures to go over with you, and these do tend to be kind of tricky because the word parts don't necessarily follow the rules, and some of the terms are just plain weird. Also, sometimes it can be a little tricky to distinguish between the different procedures, so I'm going to try to clarify that for you. The first term is pretty straightforward. It's audiometry. A-U-D-I-O-M-E-T-R-Y. And audiometry is the measurement of one's ability to hear sounds of varying loudness and pitch. This is a typical type of ear test that you've probably had before, say in school. A second type of ear test is called tympanometry. T-Y-M-P-A-N-O-M-E-T-R-Y. Tympanometry. And this is the use of air pressure to test for disorders in the middle ear. And notice that we're using tympano, a combining form, that relates to the eardrum. The next term is for the surgical repair of the eardrum. And as one might expect, the term is tympanoplasty. T-Y-M-P-A-N-O-P-L-A-S-T-Y. Tympano again refers to eardrum. Plasty means surgical repair. Now the next two terms get kind of tricky and are often confused. The first term is tympanostomy tubes. T-Y-M-P-A-N-O-S-T-O-M-Y and then tubes. Now tympanostomy has the combining form tympano meaning eardrum. Ostomy the suffix means a surgically created opening. But these are tubes that maintain the surgically created opening. And what is all this? Well, these are tiny ventilating tubes placed through a child's eardrum to allow fluids to drain. When you hear about kids getting tubes in their ears, this is what they're, they're getting, tympanostomy tubes. And these tubes would be used again to drain the fluid that's associated with otitis media. Now the next term is related to that, but it comes right out of left field, and that is myringotomy. M-Y-R-N-G-O-T-O-M-Y. Now, meringo is another combining form that means eardrum, and otomy is the suffix that means surgical incision. So this would be a surgical incision into the eardrum for the placement of tympanostomy tubes. So this is where it gets a little tricky. The meringotomy is the procedure that is used to place tympanostomy tubes. So it's real easy to get those two terms confused. We do a meringotomy, an incision into the eardrum, in order to place the tympanostomy tubes, which are the ventilating tubes, to allow fluids to drain. Why one term uses Meringo and the other uses Tympano, don't know. (laughs) It's just the way it is. So we're just going to have to memorize that and be careful of it, not to switch which combining form to use or which suffix to use. Now the next term is another type of surgical incision, but this relates to the inner ear or the labyrinth. It's called fenestration. F-E-N-E-S-T-R-A-T-I-O-N. This is a surgical incision into the labyrinth to create a new opening in order to restore hearing. Fenestration literally means creating a window. And so what we're doing here is a new window or opening into the labyrinth in order to restore hearing. The next term is labyrinthotomy. L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H-O-T-O-M-Y. 
And as you think from the word parts, this would be a surgical incision into the labyrinth. But this is an incision into a different part of the labyrinth for a different purpose. A labyrinthotomy is a surgical incision between two fluid-filled chambers, that is, the semicircular canals, in the labyrinth in order to equalize pressure and relieve severe vertigo. That's different from the fenestration, which is a surgical incision into the labyrinth to create a new opening in order to restore hearing. And finally, we have labyrinthectomy. Labyrinthectomy is the surgical removal of all or part of the labyrinth in order to relieve uncontrolled vertigo. So it would be like a more extreme procedure than labyrinthotomy. Labyrinthotomy, we're making an incision between two fluid-filled chambers in order to equalize pressure and hopefully relieve severe vertigo. Then we have the labyrinthectomy where they're going in and actually removing part or all of the labyrinth in order to control vertigo. And again, the fenestration is a surgical incision into the labyrinth in order to restore hearing. And the irony here is the labyrinthotomy and the labyrinthectomy, which are designed to eliminate or relieve vertigo, actually cause hearing loss. And finally, we have a term that's just a little tricky to spell. That's why I bring it up. And it is stapedectomy. S-T-A-P-E-D-E-C-T-O-M-Y. Stapedectomy is the surgical removal of the stapes, which is one of the auditory ossicles. It has the odd spelling because it has that D stuck in there. And that's primarily for sound or pronunciation because stapectomy or stapaectomy wouldn't really sound too good. It'd be kind of hard to pronounce, stapaectomy. So it's stapedectomy. They stick that D in there between the two E's. And that is often forgotten when one is trying to write it out or spell it. So be careful of that. Okay, now we're going to review these nine terms. I'm going to quiz you over them. First of all, what is the term for the surgical repair of a damaged eardrum? Well, that's tympanoplasty. T-Y-M-P-A-N-O-P-L-A-S-T-Y. What is the term for the surgical incision into the eardrum for the placement of ear tubes? Well, that's a myringotomy. M-Y-R-I-N-G-O-T-O-M-Y. And what is the term for the tubes that are placed in a child's eardrum to allow fluids to drain? Those are the tympanostomy tubes. T-Y-M-P-A-N-O-S-T-O-M-Y. Tympanostomy tubes. And what is the term for the procedure to measure one's ability to hear sounds of varying loudness and pitch? That's audiometry. A-U-D-I-O-M-E-T-R-Y. What is the term for the use of air pressure to test for disorders in the middle ear? That's tympanometry. T-Y-M-P-A-N-O-M-E-T-R-Y. What is the term for the surgical removal of the stapes? That's the stapedectomy. S-T-A-P-E-D-E-C-T-O-M-Y. Remember that D in there between the two E's. What is the term for the surgical incision into the labyrinth 
to create a new opening in order to restore hearing. That's fenestration, F-E-N-E-S-T-R-A-T-I-O-N. N. And what is the term for the surgical removal of all or part of the labyrinth in order to relieve uncontrolled vertigo? That's a labyrinthectomy. L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H-E-C-T-O-M-Y And what is the term for a surgical incision into the labyrinth between two fluid-filled chambers in order to equalize pressure and relieve severe vertigo? That's the labyrinthotomy, L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H-O-T-O-M-Y. Well, that covers the procedures regarding the ear. And finally, we have reached the end of Chapter 11. This ends this episode of the Medical Terminology Podcast.